Just a quick disclaimer. Uh, there is uh, not a single mention of Docker or containers in this talk. So uh, I don't know about many of you, but before I started working at Datadog, uh, even though I love monitoring, I would monitor my boxes at the end of a project. I'd build the thing, test the thing, launch the thing, and then maybe monitor some of the things and write the docs. So I would set up, I would set up my tools, I'd grab some metrics, I'd uh, get some pretty graphs, and I thought that I was doing the right thing. But uh, I kind of missed the point. I thought monitor all the things was it, but nope. In fact, uh, I had failed, and I deserved a wicked dragon kick from a DevOps ninja. I had missed one of the crucial times to monitor my service. Um, I think about monitoring it from scratch and, and start thinking about it when the packages are still in the repo. How else do you know that it's doing the thing, right? Even when you're building the thing, it might not be doing the thing you think it's doing. So monitoring last is a fail. You should be monitoring first. Plan to mon monitor it before there's even data, especially if it's big data. For example, we, needed, uh, we decided we needed to prototype something that could help us. Uh, we had hundreds of VMs, and a 30-minute chef run to uh, change a feature flag was too long. We looked at a few options, no offense to Chef, but, and uh, console looked like it had the components that we were after. Small binary, DH, uh, DNS and HTTP interface, key value storage, failure detection, we were pretty excited. But we were a bit of afraid of it. This is a new tool, how much memory will it take? Will it interfere with other processes? Would it be destabilizing to our clusters and impact production? There were a lot of unknown unknowns, things we didn't know. So we started, as many of us do, by fixing staging. And we read the docs and chefed up some recipes and got a cluster running. Uh, we seasoned it to taste. Now what should we monitor? Well, on the console server side, we started with a few things. We started with overall average networking, uh, networking per server, CPU per server. And great, we replicated Munin in 2015. So I guess my work is done here. Um, but we also wondered if the agent would use up all our precious memory, drive the oom killer crazy, and start stop our processes. Nope, didn't do that either. None of our worries materialized, most likely because we weren't really using anything. But as we worked with, with console, we broke it and fixed the cluster. We found the two metrics that were the most important. One, do we have a leader? And two, the orange line, uh, has there been a leadership transition event? So after a couple of weeks of exploration and watching it idle without taking down the world, we thought, well, staging is in prod. Let's see how the cluster behaves with more nodes. It's probably fine. So we pushed it to prod. And well, that's eh, not so good. So sure it looks like a lot of leadership transitions to me, especially since there it's a lot more than staging. How about we add a couple more server nodes and see what happens. You know, there's three and a half times the nodes in prod. So that looks a lot better. Five server nodes is about right. So now that it's all calmed down and we're feeling lucky, let's try installing the app that writes configuration files and reloads our services on the fly. That sounds so awesome. Well, maybe that wasn't such a good idea. Too many things querying for too many other things all at once. Maybe building that file on every machine is not the right thing to do. There's got to be a better way. So we decided, let's build it on a single node and distribute it with the integrated key value store. No more unending leadership transitions, no more scary graphs, much wow. So because we monitored first, we can experiment and see the impact of our choices before they become next year's technical debt. Because we monitored first, we have hard data that we can make decision with rather than just our gut feels. Because we monitored first, when we ran into strange pauses, we could then collect additional metrics and discover, whoa, the individual nodes aren't going deaf, the server is, and that's affecting groups of nodes. So please, please, monitor first, not last. Make sure the thing that you're building is doing what you think it it's doing before it's too late and you have to do a 270 away from certain peril. <laughs> Monitor first because you just never know what Shia might do if you don't. <laughs> Thanks for your five minutes. Uh, come find me to talk more about console or even Docker. I'm Darren Froze and 
Thanks.